Hi, welcome to Closet Coaching. I want to talk today about worthiness. And for some people, this is going to be maybe an obvious thing. I talk about it though, because it honestly took me years to wrap my head around this. And I didn't even realize I was missing it. So a couple of or several years ago now, a coach asked me, <clears throat> what do you think makes a person worthy? And when she asked me that, I was kind of like, I don't know. Like I kind of understood where she was going with it. I knew she was pointing me in the direction of like, I didn't think I was worthy, right? Like that was the ultimate place she was getting me to. But in my head, I was like, well, no, that isn't it. Because I understand that I'm worthy as a human being. Like I reject the idea that like you're, that other, some people are better than others based on how they look. And so that's not how I feel. I just feel like I just don't like the way I look, but it's not a worthiness thing. I just didn't associate that. And then like years went by and like that, that concept always stuck in my head and where I saw it like playing out where I was like, oh, is that like when I would see, for example, a picture of myself where I was otherwise having a really good time, right? So if like, if I was in the middle of like, a, 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 I don't know, like something with my friends or my family and I was like really feeling good and then I saw the picture and then everything deflated, like all of a sudden it was like... <laughs> I don't know. The whole experience took a nosedive. It wasn't just about that, that picture. And like, if I, or if I was going somewhere and I put an outfit on and I would look in the mirror and be like, oh, and then I didn't like the reflection. It was, it was more than just, oh, I need to change my outfit. It was like, wait, like it, it tainted the entire, like my right to enjoy the experience. And that's worthiness. So it took me a long time to connect those dots and to be like, when I see myself reflected in a way where I don't like my body, I allow that to take everything away from me. I allow that to dictate my right to joy and to enjoying an experience and my right to be there. And that is like con this concept of like the fact that we do really allow our reflections to decide for us whether or not we are worthy of good things um is kind of mind blowing because when you see it happening or when you catch yourself doing it if you can recognize that that is what's happening, you can then also interject a different dialogue where you're saying like, wait, we don't actually believe this. This is just your training where you are, are subconsciously operating under the assumption that you are not worthy now. Um, and no, we, we, we consciously reject this idea. So we're going to replace this subconscious sort of reaction with this conscious value now. Um, now, this, of course, is a different thing if you truly believe that um, your, your weight determines your worth or not. But I I mean, to be honest with you, I don't think I fully made that leap. I think I just started interjecting the thought in any way, even if I really did believe it made me somehow unworthy. But I would just consciously sort of like put it there anyway. Because really, like, if you're here, I mean, we're working on the fact of like untangling that knot of like, no, your body size doesn't make you worthy. You don't have to like your body, but it doesn't make you unworthy. And it certainly does should not be precluding you from your life joy and your experiences. So to be able to separate those things and be like, no, I don't like my body, but it doesn't make me unworthy. And it doesn't make me have less of a right to enjoying this time with my family or friends or whoever. And sort of like untangling that bit can help propel the actual belief of those thoughts. So anyway, um, I hope that helps someone. See you tomorrow.